Hey, what is up everyone? This is Saurabh here from Techyard and today I will be showing you the Viper OS official build for Redmi Note 4 or the 4X codenamed Mido. Now, uh, I know I'm a very I'm very late in showing you this uh, ROM because I had some other projects going on. I know there are other, ch other channels who shows a lot of ROM videos so a lot of people are saying we are late. We are late because uh, we have other works to do we just don't do only rom videos we have other devices and yeah i'm planning to buy a second hand redmi 3s prime so that i can show you more redmi 3s coverage yep i'm buying another product for you all now it runs on no good so you will definitely get the split screen mode don't worry it's an official build you will get further updates regarding that and uh, for and all the stability of the rom is very good and one thing I would love to mention is that uh, you don't get a lot of uh, free RAM in the very first boot, get around 1.5 to 1.6 GB, but the RAM management is really decent. Yeah, it's not extraordinarily great, but it is decent. But the best feature of this ROM, a standalone feature, is definitely the theme center. Now, we are known to theme center, right? In a Lineage or Cyanogen, we are actually accustomed to a theme center. But it's a completely different type of a theme center. And it really caught my, you know, it, it really caught my attention. I'm really happy with the theme center. We can do a lot of stuff with it. At first, uh, and first of all, I love black. And the 2.5D curved glass on the display looks amazing. Later on, I change the icons, the, you know, you know, should I say violet or blue, whatever you call it. The icons were, first of all, looks, it looked great, but later on, I changed it. Now, the Venom part is actually uh, the customization hub. The Viper is actually based on a logo of a snake. So the Venom definitely, you know, it's relevant to the whole setup, whole theme, whole whatever it is. <laughs> Anyways, the Venom is the customization center. You don't get a lot of customizations like Resurrection Remix, but yes the customizations whatever there are it is good in numbers you get the on-screen app button feature which i personally hate and there are some apps right here we get the fm radio which is i would say a very very good feature and we get a dedicated wallpaper app called viper os wallpapers aka v papers now v papers is nothing new actually uh, it actually shows you a lot of uh, you know new renders on the same logo uh, logo of a snake that remembers that reminds me of Nagini of Voldemort and some other uh, other you know skeletons or stuff like that which I would love to ignore by the way anyways I would love to see any dragon from Game of Thrones because I'm a you know, Game of Thrones fan and anyways the Android scores uh, I, I was you know I, I'm really into movies and TV series stuff like that we get around 6300 on the Android benchmarking, which is average, I would say, and it is good based on the stability, like I'm saying in all the ROMs, based on the stability, you can easily play any games you want. Now, a lot of people are saying my ROM videos are getting monotonous. Yeah, I know that, I truly accept that, but it is the pressure from the subscribers that always makes me do this kind of video, so I'm really sorry. Now, uh, the whole imagery is not up to the mark that I expected. I somehow felt it could have been better. Might be in broad daylight, you get decent images, but in the low, in the lighting I'm currently in, I have got better, you know, better results from other devices. We get the 4K UHD playback or shooting option, so you can easily shoot at 4K. Like I'm complete, right? Like I'm repeatedly saying in every videos that 4K doesn't give you that kind of detail that it should be in small sensors like this. So you have to accept the fact that it's not four times 1080p. It is like just a little bit better than 1080p. But you can't expect more on this small sensor, right? Anyways, the imagery is not up to the mark of my expectations based on the other ROMs that I've reviewed, but it is good. The fingerprint scanner works pretty fine. And that's not a back cover. That's actually a skin of our skin from Gadget Shields. The video is in our channel. Make sure to check that. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you loved this video. If you loved it, vote it up. And if you didn't like it, vote it down. Do subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, and I will be seeing you in my next video. Stay awesome, stay subscribed.